drugs. Hey guys, welcome to CGTV and today's main topic is going to be drugs. You see, what we don't hear in the news is the amount of benefits that legalising drugs can have in society. Look at what it done for Portugal. In 2001 they decriminalised all drugs. Everything. Cocaine, cannabis, heroin, you name it. As long as in small supplies, of course. This made the crime rate drop dramatically and the deaths caused by drugs drop also. Why is this not being done in every other country in the world? Now I'm going to tell you about a few statistics about deaths and drugs in Portugal. First of all, within every million people in Portugal, there's only three died due to drugs. Do you know why this is? This is because people aren't going around to a dodgy dealer and buying dodgy drugs on a street corner whenever they want. They're going to uh, pharmacies and hospitals and all in the country to get other things and get drugs which are made properly without dodgy ingredients that will are less likely to kill you. Another statistic which I wanted to share with you was that in 1999 there was 1% of Portugal's population which is actually addicted to heroin. This obviously caused a lot of deaths by AIDS. This is not good for a society. But then when Portugal decriminalised all drugs, this allowed all addicts to go down to their local pharmacies and hand in their dirty needles. Instead of them being put into jail, which is what would happen in any other country if someone was caught out being a heroin addict, they got a health pack. This is, makes so much more sense and would help the people so much more than just throwing them into jail for having an addiction. Let me ask you something. Do you believe that if cannabis would have been making the government's profit, do you not think it would have been legalised maybe over 50 years ago? I'll tell you why drugs aren't legalised. See, drugs such as cannabis has many different uses. One of these would be to treat a number of illnesses. See illnesses such as MS, epilepsy and Parkinson's. It, it completely calms, it, it prevents the seizures from epilepsy, it stops the shaking with Parkinson's and then MS, it completely eases the pain. You see, it's not being used for things like this because it's going to be a much cheaper option for people to buy and use. Why would big pharmaceutical companies start using cannabis instead of their own pills? Well, they're going to be losing money. The whole thing is about money. People always believe the things that they hear in the news, all the negative stories about drugs. See, my problem with the news is that the news reporters are very deceiving. See, people will believe whatever they say because they're dressed in suits and they look nice and they sound very well. Donald Trump has denied the legalisation of cannabis. He has made this decision as cannabis causes short-term memory loss and severe anxiety. This is only some of the negative effects that it has on his users. This is Jason. Jason's mother suffered from MS for the past 12 months of her life. This has not only been affecting her life dramatically, his also. He's had to watch his mother suffer a severe amount of pain and have to use illegal medication to help ease it. So Jason, can you tell us a bit about your mother? Well, she's been in a great deal of pain these past couple of months and she's uh, she's been getting medication from the doctors which I mean, it's been too expensive for and uh, it just hasn't really helped her. She's been up all night. And she... So can you tell me how much the drugs cost from the hospital each month roughly? Well, it was about £250 and sometimes it went up to about £300 a month. A change, did it? Yes, every once in a while it would just it would go up or down. You said she needed more medication or she was on the same? She would, sometimes they would just go up in price due to tax. So what ways did these drugs actually help your mother, if any? Well, they helped her a bit, but I mean, it was too much of a prolonged help. It was just, it took too long and she was still in a great deal of pain. It just, it was taking far too long. Whereas the THC oils helped her immediately. And these THC oils, how much would they cost each month for your mother? Well, they would cost in around £70 a month, but uh, she was only using two drops a night and it was lasting her a lot longer than the medication from the hospital. So you think of these two drops alone each night are a much better way of treating your mother's disease rather than using the medication which she's been receiving from the hospital? Yes, uh, it was helping her a far quicker and better way than the medication from the hospital was and the medication from the hospital was taking too long for her and she was in too much pain whereas the THC oils was effective immediately and she was getting full night's sleep and she just she seemed like she was back to her old self. Susan, what do you think about these laws that don't allow your mother to use the THC oils as a method of treating herself? I think it's unfair that I have to go about getting these drugs illegally whereas the medication which wasn't as effective as these oils 
I get straight off the NHS. But I feel that it should be legalised strictly for medical reasons. Mm -hmm. So that people like my mother or anywhere else, anyone else or anyone else in the same situation could use these here to help their treatment. Well, I totally agree with you there. Um, thanks very much for sharing your story with us and I hope for your mother's sake that cannabis does be legalised for medicinal use. So there you go, there's my ideas on legalisation of drugs and some of yours. Don't forget to drop that like button and hit subscribe for more videos. Until next time.